Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Com YouTube channel and this will be another video in this episode end-to-end -end framework playlist. So in couple of videos, we are trying to set up the reporting part in our framework. So as of now, we have created some utilities related to extend report and here you can see that we have some utility to create the instance and we have some report name with the timestamp and we have some custom logging methods which i've explained already in my previous videos if you have not watched please go and watch that and i will use the tcng listeners to set up my reporting stuff now the question comes i need to log something right i need to log i will discuss what what should i include in the report so let me recap that again so if so generally we have three parts request response and assertion so we should log the base URI method type request headers body for request. Similarly, for response, I should log response body, response headers, and status code. And whatever assertion you are doing, obviously, that you should also log. So it's not the fixed items that you should log, but these are the basic stuff which we must log in a report. Now, we to think where we need to write the code to include this information in a report. First thing you can think, okay, let's put the those logger method inside your test, like here okay but if you see here we have already created some utility here like create airline so this particular method is responsible to give you or create an airline just need to pass the payload if you go to this method you have one point to print the logs here but again you need to get all those details so why not we should have some approach where we no need to explicitly write to print the basic stuff whenever i am calling some methods like perform post or get or whatever we are going to create in future automatically it should print all those basic stuffs in my report i should not explicitly write those so what is the best way or best place to write those logging methods obviously inside the this time of methods which I have created under the race utils because when you call this method like perform post or perform gate or perform patch automatically because here if you see this code so here I have details of what is my request and what is my response here if I have all those details so why not I should keep the reporting statement logging statement here so it is good to have those logging statement inside the rest utils that is under your framework part so but before that if you see here if you see here this code and this code is almost same how here if you see i just created for the readability purpose if someone wants to perform the pogo call by passing the string request payload then also same method will be called and if if someone wants to pass the map as a payload then also they can call this method this just for the readability purpose but if you see internally it is same thing nothing is changed here because this body is overloaded which can accept different types of parameters so now again i am repeating this code so let's do something we will create the request specification Okay, and I will put all those common code related to request creation in that. So let me create a new method and I will create this method private because this method needs to be used here only. So I will create private again static and the return type will be request specification. And I will write the name like get request specification. Okay. And this method will take some arguments and obviously the same thing. Obviously, I may need to load this method again, but as of now, to get the request specification, I just need three points here. So what I'm going to do, let me go and copy this statement and let me paste it here. So I will just remove the log.all because I don't want to print the logs in console. If you see the return type of body, okay, if you see the return type of this body, you'll see the, it is returning request specification, okay, which is this one. Okay, so I will simply add the return statement. So what I did, this much code is common here, right here also. So I just separated it. So instead of calling, writing this code here and here, both places, I will simply call this method now. So return type will be request specification. I will just give the object name and I will call this method and I will just pass the parameters. And in this request specification, you can directly call your method like post and you can return it. Again, I am not going to log anything on the console. So this code is not needed now. So I simply remove this code now. And same thing, it will happen here as well. 
Now you see one thing. Here I am passing the request payload as string. Why string? I can pass here object so that I can use the same method here as well. Okay, because if I am passing it object, then it can accept the string also. It can accept a map object as well. So what I'm going to do? Simply copy and paste it here. There is no error. But remember, I have just two methods just for the simplicity, so that when my anyone is you calling my methods, they can okay understand. Okay, I can pass the string payload also. I can pass the map payload also. If I pass the object, if someone is new, right, so they might not understand. Okay, so it is better to give some flexibility. Now I have removed the duplicate thing. Now let me go and add the login statement. You have one option. You can have. Ha you can add the login statements here also you can he add here also so why to add again and again what i need to do i need to create again the usual method okay so i will create two methods or you can create one method also in one method one method you are going to print the request request details another method you will uh, print the response statement so better to create two methods so i will name it like private static obviously if you want to use it outside somewhere or in future videos if i feel like okay i need to print those explicitly somewhere so obviously i can call that and by changing from private to public but as of now keep it a pri private private static and I will put void print log or print request log in report. So print, if you see the request specification, this particular object will have all the details, right? What is endpoint? What are the headers? What are the body? Everything it will have. So this method, this method need to accept one request specification. So if you have watched my previous in this assured concept playlist where I've explained all the concepts of race assured. So you should know that we have something queryable request specification. Okay, you cannot extract the value directly from here. So you need to create an object of for its interface. So so just the reference we have a class called specification queer dot query. Okay, and just pass the request specification. If you want to extract the value from here from the request specification, then you need to use the class called specification query. And from we have one method called query that is static method. Just pass the request, specific, request specification here. And this will return you one queryable request specification. And from here now you can extract the values. Means you can if you do a queryable dot get method, get body, get headers. You can see get, get, get base path, get base URI. Everything you can get it from here. Okay. So as of now I am not going to write everything here. And whatever will be required I will add but as of now I am going to add some basic stuff first thing will be like endpoint okay so get base URI okay so it will give me the API endpoint now how to how to log in the report no need to worry because if you see my extent report manager here I have already created utilities right to log just call these methods so because uh, printing the endpoint in the report will be info details so simply I will call, call this method so let me go to rest details and what I will do extend report manager dot log info details okay and I, I will pass this thing so I just need to call my usual methods and automatically it will go in the report that I will show you after running so I printed the base URI and better to have some text as well Text means I will print endpointage. Similarly, let me copy and let me print some stuff like uh, methods, request body, and all, and the headers as well. So method method means which call get post pat, uh, patch whatever it is. So we have method called get get method endpoint then maybe headers headers are okay and you can do get headers get headers and then add list to string okay and then at the request body you might say that okay in post call or maybe some request we don't have body so what to do in that case but okay that we will see later but as of now we are, accept, we are expecting that everything will be body. If not, then it will print empty. So what I'm going to do, get body. Okay, get body. Okay, so these four details from request I am printing in the report. Okay, you can see that how much it is simple. I no need to worry about what extent, what extent is going to call the fair local, nothing to worry. Just call these methods, it will take care. 
everything okay that's why framework is important you need to think you need to design in such a way that it will be very easy for end users to use it end user means the people who are going to write the code similarly i am going to create another method and this will be responsible to print the response details and obviously it requires just the response so let me copy these three lines i'm just using the log info you can use the log pass also log info details maybe response status so in the response object we can automatically get the get status code then response headers you can put response headers it will be like okay and uh, pons body so again just change the response okay so i just created two methods one method will print the report uh, request stuff and another will print the response now just call these two methods inside here okay so what i'm going to do in issue return it directly i am going to store it first like response okay now i am going to call the print request and i can pass it here like request specification and then print response and i can pass the response here now you can if you want to more reduce the lines of code you can create another method where you can call this two together okay that also you can do but okay uh, as of now and then after printing just simply return it now same thing here same code so we are done where we are simply logging you can see that i am not writing any log statement for print the uh, general thing right or these are generic things which should be part of report i am not responsible for the uh, means your test test method will not be responsible for that you can see that we have not added any extra line here and another thing i should go and run it let's see whether it generates the report or not so if you see the extend report manager so we are expecting that it should go not extend report manager but in the setup it should create a folder called reports under the user directory right in the root folder and the report name will be i think with the date right this one i have already created one maven configuration in the last video uh, you can go and watch that one and let me run it let's see what happens but before that let me just simply stop it let me go to a lan test and let me change the id okay now if you see my test case is failed let me go to test and if you see here it is given null point exception inside the log info details extend report measure dot java line number 44 if you see it is failing here if you try to run in debug you can see that it's failing at extend test because this is null why null if you see our test engine listener where i am already setting up setting it up right on call up on test start but it is test engine concept here and i purposefully failed it to just to explain the error to you because 100% you might face this problem so that's why i just wanted to highlight here whenever you are creating your overloaded listener state right? like this one so you need to mention that you are going you are using this listener in your test engine.xml so open your test engine.xml okay and here you need to mention that okay use the listener tag listener tag and here you need to pass again listener tag and here need to pass the which class which where you have implemented the listener methods so you need to call the reporting dot setup because in setup i have already uh, defined my listeners right not defined but overridden the listeners and it is doing some custom things there so now let me run the my pom.xml and we know that my pom is calling the test engine internally now let me run this but before that again let me change the id here so that i should get some unique name unique id now let me run it okay now build is success you can see the test case is passed you can see here green check mark and now let me see you can see here we have reports folder and here we have three reports maybe the old report so if you see the time is now 23rd so let me go right click go to go to go to go to open in explorer 
and you can open in browser also directly but let me open in explorer so here it opens let me open in the browser chrome and let's see what happens so here is my test first report and you can see here it is printing like endpoint method headers request body response status and all the details whatever we have logged right so this is we need to configure a little bit more that i will do in next video because this is already long now but if you see here this is my test execution report this which which is title here and if you see my code inside the setup so here i am giving the document title test execution report so which you can see here right and then i am giving the report name test api automation report which is coming here okay and the actual file name with the html this is one where it is attaching the timestamp and also i am creating the test case here like test name and then it is getting the package name and the test method name you can see here test name airlines dot which is package name this is the test method sorry uh, this is the full package and then this is the test method right so this it is printing that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone